First step is to clear the Heralds of Galactus off this shelf, and then we're going to place the Sentinel and Galactus in the most optimal position. Mrs. Featherbottom says always dust your shelves! Now we're going to figure out where to best position the HasLab figures, and then we're going to come over here to my table of assets and start layering them into the display. By putting the Sentinel in the corner, it gives me the opportunity to build a really immersive 90s X-Men display here on the ground, leading into where Galactus will be with the Fantastic Four Heralds of Galactus display. The other thing I wanted to accomplish is when I walk into the basement, the first thing you notice are my six Detoff. Then when you come here, I really want the Sentinel and Galactus to be visible and then your eyes drawn into the 90s X-Men display. The number one most important piece of this display is not the money shot Haslam pieces, it's the 90s X-Men. The stage is set. I modeled out a couple of the X-Men figures just to get a scale comparison with the Sentinel as well as Galactus. I'm giving X-Men about two thirds of the Kallax shelf for the display. Again, the highlight of this display is going to be the 90s X-Men figures. Then that gives us all this space here in the corner to set up uh, Fantastic Four and the Heralds of Galactus. Oh, dude, I've been waiting for this for so long. Big thank you to Hostess Fruit Pies for helping me to eat my feelings and put away all the dread and anxiety that floods through my entire nervous system every time I think about going back to work tomorrow. So right now, we're going to avoid reality and start with the main core 90s X-Men figures. The ones that are on the poster, the ones that are in the intro, we're going to build everything out around them. So we'll put Professor X in the center and then also incorporate uh, risers into the back of the display. I love thinking this through. It's a really fun mental exercise and challenge. First thing I want to do is get any X-Men that I want flying in their stands. That'll help me to calibrate where they're going to go. And what I like about these stands is they're cheap, but then I can also you know, stand another figure right underneath it. Um, now i got to pick if I want any other figures flying. So contenders would be Rogue or Magneto. Angel will be flying, but I'm going to have him up on the acrylic shelf. So I'm going to move him to the side for right now. Let's throw Scott and Jean in front of Storm. I like how that looks together, man. It, it's a cool cut up of the colors. Bomber jacket is epic. Oh, man, why couldn't they give him a uh, lens flare effect? It just would look awesome right now, wouldn't it? This is coming together. I like how I'm piecing them together. Beast, I want in full, like, roaring battle pose. So that's easy. And then now I just have to decide how do I want Logan? I This version comes with multiple head sculpts, but I like the one with the hood pulled back. Do I want him kind of looking at Gene and sulking, or do I want him uh, charging into battle? All right, how cool does that look? I've got Beast on the battle damage Sentinel head, and I got Logan just kind of pointing his claw. Come at me, Bob! Perfect, dude. I love how this turned out with the core X-Men. I do acknowledge I have everyone here but Jubilee, but she is safe and will not be moving out of that display, along with uh, Bishop, Mr. Sinister, and Omega Red. We've made great progress to this point. We have the core 90s X-Men in the top row. You have Rogue and Storm flying. I love the way Gambit looks with his uh, charged cards flying out. And then as you scroll out, you get to enjoy Mojo. There's the Beast who just beheaded a Sentinel. You got the good version of the Phoenix Jean Grey and Magneto. And I put my first figure on the acrylic shelf, Archangel. Take another step back and really start to appreciate how this is coming together. Now I'm at the point where I need to make a couple tough choices. I want to layer in these figures next. And now it's just a question of how best to put them in to tell a cool story with the Sentinel and the rest of the X-Men. And then I need to make decisions on which figures are going to go up on the acrylic shelf. I'm going to sneak Ursa Major in this back corner. I think I'll fit. Perfect. Big, huge figure. Kind of looks like he's uh, clawing at the foot of the Sentinel. Of course, we're going to put Ursa Major there. She'll go right with him. That just solved a major problem, where to put this large Build-A-Figure. I think I'm going to put Nimrod here, fighting in concert with the Sentinel, and then we can just build out Moonfall ooh, toward the 90s X-Men from there. The scene is building out beautifully. Solved a couple issues. Ursa Major in the corner looks great. He's uh, attacking the leg of the Sentinel. Love the way I balanced her right on top of him. Looks like she's uh, floating and jumping up ready to attack the Sentinel. 90s X-Men are great. Then we've got the Juggernaut in the corner attacking Professor X. And then moving down here, we added Wanda, Pietro, Colossus, and Nimrod. It's coming together nicely. I hope the toy guys accept this humble offering. It came out 
way, way better than I expected. Oh my gosh, man. What a fun, zenful afternoon. Thoroughly enjoyed spending some time down here in the basement crafting this display. And what's really cool is there's still a lot of space left. This makes me even more excited for future 90s X-Men retro figures because we have all these acrylic shelves and uh, extra space on the Calax bookshelf to shove them in there. Now for the cherry on top. We're gonna take the Sentinel's tentacle and he's gonna wrap up Wolverine from Days of Future Past in it. This is the first time I've attempted to use the tentacles to ensnare an action figure. I've always kept them nice and straight. I didn't wanna get them bent up. Gingerly putting him in place. I probably should've done this first before I set everything up because I'm <laughs> totally worried about having a ma massive spill. But let's see how it comes out and make sure it doesn't... Oh, dude, that's great. Just gonna keep him like that, I think. Wow, dude, that looks really cool. I love him just hanging out there in space like that. That's neat. I'm gonna, I might have to readjust these a little uh, for the sight line, but I, dude, that's the cherry on top of the display right there. What do you think?